up guys? Today we are going to be checking out the Eli Zero and it's going to be exciting. Hey Lucia, what are we doing right now? Checking out a little car. You can drive it. Hey, you can yeah. I'll film for you. All right. All right guys, so we are trying out this Eli Zero golf cart. 12 seconds later. It's not really a golf cart, but it's more like a neighborhood vehicle. So it can only go up to 25 miles per hour, but we're gonna test this thing and see if it's good. So what I really like about this car is that like, it steers really well. And, and the thing is, it has that um, e-scooter feeling for city driving or if you live in a suburban neighborhood. Oh my god, these turns are sharp. <laughs> also, this brake is uh -huh. really soft. Uh-huh. So you have to press really hard. Do you want to try to park it? Oh, look at my parking, it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it might be harder to park a small, a small car. Okay, wait, let me, let me do it again. Do you want to try? No, I'm good. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna roll. How did you open it? Press the button. Okay. You can't adjust the. You can't adjust the seat, right? Like the seat doesn't. No, it doesn't. Wait, this is a little. I have to go forward. Okay, press the brakes. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. A few inches later And switch yeah. it to drive? Okay, press the brakes and then switch it to drive, yep Now it's on drive, right? Yep And press, press go Wow, I'm much slower at driving this I'm not scared to press down on the brakes No, you don't have to be scared because it's, uh, It takes a while to, to even like accelerate. accelerate I feel like yeah. if you do a sharp turn with this car You're about to roll over No, I don't think so <laughs> It's like driving a golf cart. You're too slow. I'm too slow. Hey, enjoy. You're it. only at nine miles per hour. This this cart is for old people. No, okay? no, 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 no. You should you should jam it all the way and then just see how fast it takes you. This cart is for old people. Okay, here, here. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Okay. Okay. Can I stop here. Damn, based on how you were driving versus how I'm driving right now, that's hilarious. Okay, jam the brakes. Can I park it? No, you put it on reverse. Yeah. No, 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 here. You have to look at the light. Oh. Right there. Okay. okay, so let's just try sport mode. Like, should we ask the person how to turn on sport mode? Okay. I don't think the window's there. Oh. Is it? I don't know. Let's just ask her. Hi. Just curious. How do we turn on sport mode? Sport mode? Sorry, what? How do we turn on the sport mode? Ah, uh, there's a sport this, mode this, right this, there. This is the sport mode. Oh, so, it's already on. Yeah, so I can change it to eco. So it's right here. Mm -hmm. um, but we don't recommend eco. Okay. Because that accelerates slower. Oh, gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Eco. Then let me just compare eco and sport. Yeah. All right, thank you. We're just going to try out the acceleration. Oh yeah, it's way slower. Um, yeah, let me let me put it on reverse and then go the other way. Look at the camera. Okay, I'm gonna go sport mode right now. All right, now we're gonna test the acceleration. Honestly, not a very big difference, right? But you can feel it though. Okay, well I guess that's it. This is a trial run of Eli Zero. Mm -hmm. So Lucia, what do you what do you think? Um, I think if I was an old person living in a rich suburban community yeah. and I want to go to my friend's house for tea, mm -hmm. I would drive this. I would roll up in this little two car. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, well, this is it. Not bad, not bad. Yeah. 
Would you buy this car? Honestly, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's cute. Oh, we got a Tesla. Alright, bye. How do you like it? It's, uh, it's cool. I like it. <sighs> One thing I really like about this car is that when you drive it, it feels really comfortable. Plus, it's really easy to steer. Because I feel like golf carts out there, when you steer it, it's kind of janky. But this one is really smooth. What I do like about the car is that it's really compact. Like, it's really small on the outside, but it feels really big on the inside. It's designed to be so spacious that you don't feel like you're in a tiny car. And also, it's aesthetically pleasing. Like, if you look at mini cars out there in the market a lot of them looks really outdated but this one looks really futuristic and modern and i feel like it really has potential yeah i feel like the driving experience is just really comfortable the accelerator and the brakes are very soft if you hard brake the speed gradually goes to zero but you don't feel the jerk you know like when you drive a conventional car if you hard brake you immediately jerk right also, this car is just $12,000 USD. It's not that expensive, honestly. And if you're going to be, you know, driving to a nearby park or just cruise around your neighborhood, that's fine. It's, uh, it's a pretty good tool to have. So the one thing that I don't really like about this car is that it doesn't have an open window. <laughs> when we were trying to open the window, we couldn't find one and we had to open a door just to talk to somebody. So that, I would say, is a big no for me because what if you, you know, live in a condominium, right? And then you're trying to get into the parking lot, but you need to roll down the window so you can get a ticket or you can flash a cart or, you know, talk to the intercom. But the fact that there is no window, you have to open the entire door just to get to the intercom. That's, I don't know, just I feel like it's a little wrong, you know? And then the other is the fact that it can only go up to 25 miles per hour. And I know like they have regulations, it's considered a neighborhood electric vehicle where it can only go up to 25 miles per hour. But I just feel like it doesn't quite, I just feel like it wouldn't be really useful if you're trying to drive to a grocery store because in the US, like if you're trying to drive on the streets, you have to go at least 35 to 45 miles per hour. And 25 is just a little too slow. Like yes, it can be useful in campuses or in golf courses or in a senior home, senior living, but not for the local people, unfortunately. I'm sorry. So if you think about it, are you willing to pay $12,000 for Eli Zero? Let me know in the comment section below. If you find this video helpful, please, you know, like and subscribe. Or if you have any questions, feel free to comment below.